Ron DeSantis targets a South Florida drag brunch at our house for exposing kids to sexually explicit drag queens. Yesterday, the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation filed an administrative complaint against our house in uh, a restaurant in Woodwood, Miami. The complaint was founded on a TikTok video that shows children in the crowd of the restaurant's drag brunch. At a press conference this afternoon, Governor DeSantis said, quote, We said, wait a minute, having kids involved in this is wrong. That is not consistent with our law and our policy in the state of Florida, and it is a disturbing trend in our society to try to sexualize these young people. That is not the way you look out for our children. You protect children. You do not expose them to things that are inappropriate, end quote. The brunch is normally hosted by Athena Dion, who is currently in Greece and frequently features Queer News Tonight anchors and guests like Jasmine Price Lords, Tiffany Fantasia, and many others. Our house risks losing its liquor license over this new complaint, seeming political by the governor of Florida. You know, Republicans are so big on giving parents their rights. Make sure that parents can protect their children. Uh, don't say gay is totally founded on that BS premise. And then they're saying, no parents, you can take your children where we say you can take them. This, they are not pro parental rights. They are pro authoritarianism. And if this doesn't underscore the need for us to elect a good Democrat this November to the governor's house, I don't know what will. This frames the issue so perfectly. I imagine at this moment, uh, the Charlie Chris campaign and the Nikki Freak campaign are in meetings at this moment, live at this moment, to talk about uh, this really shameful moment. Well, and if you want to talk about sexually perverse acts, you look at John Bonet or any of those little little queens, and they put at the age of four or five makeup and wigs on them. That's sexualizing a kid. That what happened here was a kid having enjoying an afternoon of fun with a character. It wasn't like she, there was a lecture on sexuality or they were talking about their, what they really are, you know, whether they're taping it up or, or not. I mean, they were just entertaining. Mm -hmm. I, in, the, in the video, you can see that they were just literally dancing yeah, and, and having a good time. And what makes it okay for this person to actually record and film a minor and put them on social media? Did they have the parents' permission mm -hmm. to do that? Did they have anyone's permission to do that? Mm -hmm. So it just seems that there's just layers and layers of regulation the, the owners of our house, Rocco Corolli, and his partner, Owen um, Bale, um, uh, this is, I'm sure, unwelcome news um, of the attention on our house. Um, but I pretty much imagine that uh, a lion's share of community in South Florida is going to rally behind this business and uh, this drag brunch. It is really an incredible double standard, in my opinion. Um, I just, uh, I, I attended, did many interviews. Mm -hmm. I was with John at the Florida LGBTQ Democratic Caucus uh, in, uh, at, Cyprus, at the West in Cypress Creek over the weekend here in Fort Lauderdale. And mm -hmm. everyone um, uh, in the Democratic uh, community uh, was there. And we went to a restaurant um, at Cypress <laughs> Creek called Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. And it is a glorified, a larger glorified Hooters and uh, an upmarket Hooters. And uh, the sexualization that takes place in the restaurant is incredible uh, in terms of the busty girls that serve. And, if you- And let's get clear, they are sexualizing women. Yeah, well, and, and, and you know, it's a different, uh, yes, I, I agree with you, but a, 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 a different conversation. It, my point is, if you brought your children to Twin Peaks or to Hooters, Ron DeSantis would have no issue with that at all. This is an identification culture war issue that he thinks he can become president of the United States on. And that's why he is administering the marching orders in every possible way, as press secretary in every possible way, because he thinks he has fertile ground to win this election in November and become president of the United States in 2024. Does anybody Agree with that? Disagree with that? Oh yeah, this is this is to get the red hot base even redder, and make sure that they come out in droves. And relying on our allies or on the fence people to ignore that and say, yeah, the gas is four bucks a gallon. 
yes, I'm paying, you know, 10% more for food and 10% less in the package. You know, they're, reco- they're and hoping. it's the drag queen's fault. And it's the drag queen's fault. Well, it's yeah. always the drag queen's yes, fault. Yes, well, always. I can't wait for Anna Navarro to get a hold of the story because I know for a fact that she's been to our house on several occasions. So uh, when she hears about this, I can't wait to hear her perspective on DeSantis. Yeah. And, and, and just out of curiosity for our house and the brunch, and again, we, we do the shout out of support for Athena Dion. She does an amazing job of advocacy, not only in her performance, but advocacy in LGBT uh, uh, community. Uh, has uh, has anybody been to the drag brunch? At oh, our yes. House? Yeah. yeah, frequently. Yeah. Okay. I haven't I, been to I that. Have. Um, we've been to drag brunches. Mm-hmm, uh, we have mm-hmm. the palace. We have lips here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had one on Sunday with Misty Eyes doing Drag Queen yeah. Story yeah. Hour, which seems yeah. so apropos at the exact same moments that uh, Ron DeSantis is doing that. And here in South Florida, Misty is doing a new storybook mm-hmm. reading called uh, Dear Ron DeSantis. I think <laughs> the the uh, symbolism is incredible. We will follow this story very closely. Uh, uh, one final note, is this the kind of thing for South Florida that will galvanize the LGBTQ community in South Florida to say, I have to stand up and I have to vote? Does this do it or? Sadly, I don't think it does. I mean, we talked the other day about this exact same thing. What will it take to get people to realize that they need to get out and they need to vote and it affects them? And we haven't been able to find that bridge to those, to those two things. And what will that be? I don't know that a drag brunch is going to do it. And I think this is more not only for the LGBT plus community, but also for the allies, because they're the ones that are going. The majority, in my opinion, that I see when I go to drag brunches are at these shows. And and, and let's let's reveal the dirty little secret about our drag brunches. Mm -hmm. They're overwhelmingly dominated by straight people. Mm -hmm. It's not the LGBT community. I can't tell you the amount of times that we've been at Lips. The reason there would be children there is because the straight parents are with their parents. Because they think it's fun Uh, for their children. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. We will follow this story closely. It's breaking news uh, just this afternoon.